because I, I had a conversation with him earlier on where he was trying to patronize me and he wouldn't allow me to speak and he would come to my face. You're telling, you're telling your sister who she can talk to and you're getting right in her face. Yeah. Back off. And say quick, I know. Stop talking. Don't come to my face. Stop talking. Will you employ the same logic? Uh, she asked him to leave her alone. He wouldn't leave her alone. And yet, if we Christians behaved like this to a Muslim girl, how quickly would the Muslims react? You're trying to tell me that I can't... This is the supremacy mindset. This guy has actually told me that I can't speak to a Christian sister. Wow. Did you say that? Are you on the sky? Did you hear that? Right? You are trying to oppress a Christian sister and tell her who she can talk to. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to tell a Christian sister who she can talk to in this park. Bro, we are not your demons. No demons, no demons. We are not oppressed by you. We don't like you can take your Sharia and you can take it elsewhere. Yeah. We're not where you're, you're doing it. Right. So, let us actually... Let us actually... Let us actually... No, don't talk to him. Sister, sister, listen to you. He's, he's just going to talk to you because he doesn't want to deal with what we're going to do. I don't care about what Paul's going to say. Can you answer or not? No, don't. You can't answer. No, sorry, bro. You're telling, you're telling my sister who she can talk to and you're getting right in her face. Yeah. Back off. Back off, back off. Back off, back off. 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 Back don't be aggressive with her. Don't be aggressive. Don't be aggressive. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? No, you are not being aggressive. Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? She doesn't want to talk to you. Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? She doesn't want to talk to you. Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Sister, you want to talk to me or do you? Yeah? Right. Do you, you have, have to run away, yeah? Right. She's oh. asking you to go away. Stop harassing go a away. Christian lady not, in the park. I'm not Why are you harassing her? Harassing She's asking you to go away. Yes, yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. She's asking you to go away. Yes, you are harassing me. Right. Okay. Yeah? So, go, go, go. Don't come here and say we can go. Stop talking. Don't come to my face. Stop talking. Will you employ the same logic? Hey. What? what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Brother, this is wrong. This is wrong. Stop, 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 stop pushing, brother. Stop pushing, brother. You saw him harass her. You saw him harass her and you did nothing to stop it. You saw him harass her and you did nothing. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I was talking to him. I didn't see. Not him. I didn't see. Leave her alone. Brother, you should not. Leave her alone. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Let her speak. I just want to say, I was having a conversation with my brother about Bob, the building. Can you apologize? He didn't when see me. He can apologize. Can you apologize? Are you talking to him? No, to me. He came the, and tried to harass me. So allowing me to talk. No, allowing Bob to talk. I'm angry with him. I tend to, to put it to you. To me. And I apologize. And so Bob was trying to defend me. I didn't do that. I will never talk to you. Brother, brother, thank you so much for coming. No, Bob, I will never talk to you. All right, have a nice evening. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is, this is what we see all the time. Muslims are harassing Christians in the park and it, they are behaving as if they can do anything they want. He was getting in her face. She asked him to leave her alone. He wouldn't leave her alone. And yet, if we Christians behaved like this to a Muslim girl, how quickly would the Muslims react? Yet we are not this disrespectful to women, Muslim women in the park. But this is how they behave towards Christian yes. women. We saw earlier a Muslim man pushing an elder Christian. Whoa. We've seen today a Muslim gaining the face of a Christian sister. Yes. 
And yet, when we stand up for ourselves, they want to play possum. They want to act like they're the victim. So I want to apologize. I want to apologize to the brother that I got angry with. The one that came and interrupted. I've apologized to him in person. But I said that he saw it and did nothing. That was wrong. He didn't see it, and that's my fault. I was angry with this guy. I took it out on the wrong person. Mea culpa for me. My fault, not his. I just want to say thank you so much for standing for me. Because we Christians, we have to unite ourselves in the park. And we need people like Bob that we can stand because we are all brothers and sisters here in Christ. So we have to stand for each other. Thank you so much. Thank you, sister. So let's just look at what he said. Because he said that there were no witnesses to Paul's conversion. Okay, but if we turn to Acts. <laughs> Right, so here he is. So he said that he said that Paul had no witnesses. But that's a lie. And this is what they do. The Muslims on the Dawah team, they come and they try to make these arguments to Christians like yourselves in the hope that you don't know better. But here's what here's what actually happened. So Paul is giving a defense. Yeah? He said, and I'll just read the But it happened that I was on my way approaching Damascus about noontime a very bright light suddenly flashed from the heaven all around me and i fell to the ground and i heard a voice saying to me soul soul why are you persecuting me and i answered who are you lord and he said to me i am jesus the nazarene whom you are persecuting and those who were with me saw the light to be sure but did not understand the voice of the one who was speaking to me so they saw the light and they heard the voice, but they didn't understand the voice. So the witnesses saw the experience that yes. Paul had. Yes. He had a witness to his experience. Yes. And this is his own account. This is his own testimony. And you were right to point out to him that there is no witnesses to Muhammad seeing an angel called Gabriel. Nothing in the Quran. All we have is this angel that throttles a man, chokes him to make him read. And he can't read because there's nothing to read. So the angel didn't seem to appreciate that fact and choked him for it anyway. By contrast, Paul had witnesses to his own experience. And the apostles themselves were witnesses to Christ's resurrection. But we have no witnesses that the angel Gabriel none what we have is an experience that Muhammad claims and there are some literature in the hadiths much later written hundreds of years later that say that uh, a man came to Muhammad and then spoke to him and then walked away and then the people asked him who was that man and Muhammad said oh that was the angel Gabriel but there's nothing in the Quran where in the Quran does the angel Gabriel say that he's the angel Gabriel? Okay, Joseph Smith also received the same revelation exactly. where the angel Gabriel came to him. So why should I believe, that's my question for the Muslims, why should I believe in Joseph Smith or in Muhammad and not Joseph Smith? Sister, you ask a perfectly good question. Because the Muslims are asking us to believe in Muhammad because the angel spoke to him and gave him a book called the Quran. Yes. Well. An angel came to Joseph Smith and gave him a book called the Book of Mormon. So why don't we all become Mormons? You know, it's, it's, it's a nonsensical argument. The best way to judge anything is to judge it by whether it stands up to reality. And well, the thing is, when you look at the Christian teaching, it is connected to history. It's confirmed by history. Christ was crucified. Our claim there is supported by Jewish historians and Roman historians like Tacitus and Sertorius and Josephus. And that claim that Christ was crucified contradicts entirely the Quran. And that means if the Quran is wrong about Jesus being crucified, it's wrong about everything. Because if the Quran is wrong about one thing, it's not true. And that's the Muslim's logic, not my logic. You know? So.
Anyway, sister, I'm sorry that he harassed you like that. No, thank you for defending me. You yeah. Know? Because because I I had a conversation with him earlier on where he was trying to patronize me and he wouldn't allow me to speak and he would come to my face yeah. and say, if you're not here, if you're not serious in this bar, don't be here, don't come here. And I said to him, do you think I'm freezing cold? Do you think I come here to joke about? Yeah. And so, but now with you, he wasn't able to take that advantage over yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. and, and the thing is, the thing is, like, uh, uh, he, I, I don't know how much you caught on camera, Jason, but, but he, he sort of interrupted a conversation that me and the sisters were having with some Muslim sisters. And then I was stuck, uh, we got into a kind of a three way, and he said something, and I wanted to correct him. And he wouldn't let us, and so I started talking to the sister here. And he turned to the sister, this Christian sister, and said, Don't talk to him. And said, yeah. don't, is that, am I lying or is that no, the truth? that's the truth, you my face. He said, don't talk to him. And, and, and you said to him, you are not, what is your right to tell me not to talk to me? She's my Christian uh, sister, so I'm going to talk to my Christian sister. Exactly. And then you ask permission to talk to me, and I said, yes, I want to talk to you. But he wouldn't allow me. Yeah, saying, and, 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 that, and that's the kind of supremacists that we're dealing with here. Ooh. And I want to be clear. I'm not saying every Muslim in the park is a supremacist, because that's clearly not true. I've had uh, uh, two very decent conversations with two very gentlemanly Muslims today. But the fact of the matter is there are supremacists in the park. We know there are ISIS supporters in the park. And the fact of the matter is they think that this park is theirs. And they treat Christians in a shameful way. Like this brother that was shouting in this sister's face. And like the other Muslim brother that was pushing a Christian elder. You know, and, and, and it, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. You know, Christians have got to stand up for themselves. And we've got to stand up for our own. To stand up for our own community. And you have done well, Bob. Thank you Anyway, you look after yourself. Good night. Peace be with you, sister. Peace be with you. They always try to bully a sister. They got this. Bro, Hudson.